<laughs> the word discrimination and judgment have been stuck in my head. I'm not sure if it's because of the current social and political situation or if it's because of my own experience. My dental master, fellow toastmasters, have you ever been discriminated against and judged before? I have been discriminated against and judged since I was born the first day. My experience of being discriminated against and judged came along with my mom and the discrimination against women in society. My mom lost her father when she was only nine years old. Her older brother was nice, mistreated her, but her own mother often stood by her brother's side. So my mom hoped for a better life when she finally got married to my father. But so unfortunately, she gave birth to three girls in a row before me. One of them died uh, as a, an infant. My grandparents said, if my mom gave her birth to another girl, she must be cursed and the baby must be a bad omen to the family. Ironically, I was born and I was a girl. <laughs> my grandparents got so angry and upset when I was born. They didn't even glance at me. They stepped out of the house. They never looked at me again. When I was a few months old, my grandparents and my father planned to treat me with my cousin boy, boy cousin of the same age. Fortunately, my mother never let that happen. Yes, I was judged and I was a dis discriminated against as a not wanted child. In my grandma's own words, she said, my sisters, my two sisters and me were the useless, stinky wooden board from the art house. And we, were, we would be tossed out like trash as soon as we were old enough to marry. When we were old enough to go to school, my grandparents also told my father to not send us to school. Because, what? because we were useless girls. Even though my father never showed any fatherly affection for us, Luckily enough, he actually sent us to school. In high school, my school was in the city. Because of that, I was an outsider. And I was a low-class student. Because what? Because I'm, I was from village. Some of my classmates laughed at me for my accent of my village my village accent of the language. Some of them laughed at my dark skin because it's a symbol of the peasants. Some of them laughed at me because of my plain clothes. When I was single and finally dating and I discovered many men actually didn't find me attractive just because of my dark skin, because of my village family. Finally, I got married to my husband. Many people called me gold digger, male old bread. And some of them called me traitor. The list can go on and on. Despite all this discrimination and just 
and uh, judgment in my life. I have become me today. I still have the same color skin. I still speak a language with accent. I still, I'm still a woman. I can't change people how they see me or how they label me. But I can choose, the, I can make choices to be the best version of myself. So today, I'm giving a speech. There will be judgment, there will be evaluation, good or bad, welcome at all. Because at the Toastmasters, we are allowed and we are free to fail hard. And we are safe to be judged with good intentions. In real life, being discriminated against, being judged can be unavoidable. So don't let the sex of your body, the color of your skin, the accent of your language to define you. Let the actions shape your own life. Don't live in the shadows of the judgment and discrimination of others. Make your own choices to be the best version of yourself. Thank you.